Welcome to Engineering Update, brought to you by Mauser Electronics, the electronic component distributor with the widest selection of the newest products. I'm Jeff Ranke, Editorial Director of ECN, and this week's headlines, wireless stretchable lithium batteries, wearable paint patches, a Spidey Sense suit, and the world's first electric tilt rotor aircraft. Engineers at Augusta Westland in the UK recently developed the world's first electric tilt rotor airplane. The AW609, or Project Zero as it was dubbed, has been unleashed from its top secret hiding place and is now ready for commercial use. The plane's two rotors can be tilted up to 90 degrees, which allow it to hover like a helicopter as well as take off and land vertically, all while keeping the speed and efficiency of a fixed-wing aircraft. Think Osprey, but smaller, and so far, fewer crashes. Though few technical details have been revealed, we do know that each rotor is driven by its own rechargeable, battery-driven electric motor. When the airplane is on the ground, the rotors can be tilted in order to capture an oncoming gust of wind, similar to a windmill, which charges the batteries. The control systems of Project Zero are also electrically powered, including the flight controls and landing gear actuators, which means there's no need for the standard hydraulic system and traditional transmission. Also, since the electric motors don't require oxygen in order to operate, the aircraft can fly at extremely high altitudes as well as through heavily polluted air, all while producing very little noise and a low thermal signature. Augusta Westland is currently investigating the development of a hybrid version which would combine a power generator with a diesel engine. Following recent advancements in stretchable electronics, scientists at Northwestern University have created a stretchable lithium-ion battery, consisting of a hundred tiny rigid electrodes embedded within a sheet of stretchy silicone elastomer, the battery is also wirelessly rechargeable. Each electrode disc is interconnected in a parallel fashion using metal wires shaped into an S, much like a flattened spring. When the silicon sheet is stretched out, the distance between each electrode increases, connecting the uncurled wires and bridging any gaps. This means that the battery can ultimately be stretched up to 300% beyond its original size. The resulting stretchable battery is also surprisingly durable under excessive twisting and folding. This experimental lithium-ion battery is comparable in power and voltage to conventional batteries. It can power an LED bulb for up to 8 hours and handle up to 20 recharging cycles without capacity loss. The team hopes that this new type of battery will help to power medical implants and other devices that require stretchable and wirelessly chargeable inductive coils. Which is great, but I'm hoping this technology can be embedded into the single greatest technological development of the last century. The Snuggie. I mean, just imagine the possibilities. With a flexible rechargeable power source, you could attach a nightlight, a mobile device charger, even a microwave, and you'd never have to bare your arms again. Oh, so warm. So comfy. Thank you, Snuggie. Thimble Bioelectronics is developing a portable pain relief patch based on transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, or TENS. Using low voltage electrical stimulation to alleviate pain, the patch will also include Bluetooth connectivity via a smartphone app for pain tracking and management. A possible remedy for some of the estimated 1.5 billion people living with chronic pain around the world, Thimble plans on releasing the device sometime this year. Sean Rahimi, founder of Thimble Bioelectrics, was inspired to produce the device as he sought a more convenient and cost-effective option with fewer side effects in dealing with his own chronic back and arm pain. Researchers at the University of Illinois in Chicago have found a way to replicate Spider-Man's superhuman powers of perception with a Spider-Sense suit. Modeled after the famous comic book hero, the suit can detect objects through the use of sensors that are placed around the body and capable of warning its wearer of impending danger. The technology could lead to devices for the hearing and visually impaired, as well as the firemen and rescue operatives navigating in hazy environments. The supersensory technology of the suit is made up of a rotary servo motor and 13 sensor modules, which are placed on the body at different points. These separate sensors are then connected to a controller box with 10-pin ribbon cables. Each ultrasonic sensor can detect objects in the environment from up to 17 feet away. The sensors work like a radar system, as they send pulses outward, measuring the reflections returned back to it. When the module detects something, the servo motor rotates around the arm of the wearer, providing increased pressure as the object gets closer. In order to test the Spider-Sense suit, the team blindfolded volunteers and sent them on various tasks. The users apparently had little to no trouble detecting obstacles while walking, although the web-slinging did take some time to get used to. Researchers at MIT are developing a running robot cheetah, which, in some ways, can outpace its animal counterpart. 
It's about the size and weight of an actual cheetah, but the robot wastes less energy, as it's capable of running continuously for up to one and a half hours at five miles per hour. And of course, it's not sidetracked by deliciously baked cheese-covered snacks. What part of the word break do you not understand, sir? The robot's efficiency, as well as its aversion to junk food, is made possible by lightweight electric motors at the shoulders that produce a lot of torque, but minimal wasted heat. Each programmable motor is also able to adjust the stiffness of the robot's legs, altering its damping and cushioning ratio in response to outside forces and terrain. The team's main challenge has been to produce a powerful and efficient electric motor with a flexible response to impact. Working from the notion that wasted energy is driven by lost heat and friction, the group came up with a high torque density motor, requiring fewer gears. They also designed the robotic legs to behave like a spring, in much the same way as a real cheetah's leg functions. The engineers were able to improve efficiency even further through the use of shock absorbers that minimize friction and stabilize the robot. The team also took great care in custom designing an electrical motor that regenerates energy, which otherwise would have been lost. Additionally, Kevlar strips connect certain sections of the robot's legs, simulating the tendons along a bone and increasing the overall inertia of the cheetah robot. The team tested the robot's efficiency by running it on a treadmill in order to measure the voltage and current of the battery with each motor. Now that they have the main concept down, they are working to improve the speed of the robot, which they hope may eventually be used for future emergency search and rescue operations. That wraps up this week's report. I'm Jeff Frankie, and this has been your Engineering Update.